Today we have a delicious little adventure plan. We're gonna cook you guys a meal. So one of the most requested videos we have gotten is to show how we cook in our van. And we've been living in our van full time for about seven months now. We've gotten into a good groove with cooking in a very small space and with very limited appliances. So today we're gonna show you our kitchen setup and cook one of our favorite mm. van meals. It's easy, delicious, whether you live in a van or not. Welcome to our kitchen. So we did a poor job showing our cooking setup during our van tour, but our setup is super simple. We just have an induction stove top and a fridge. We typically eat two large meals a day, mostly meat and veggies. So about 90% of our food goes in our fridge. And it's pretty empty right now because we've been staying in my parents' house, so we're not using it at the moment. But this thing can hold a ton of food. I think we can probably store about a week's worth of food, and since most of our food is refrigerated, that's pretty dang impressive. We also got the fridge with the smallest freezer possible because we don't use it that much. But very important to note, you can shove a full pint of ice cream in here, which we have done very often, or sometimes we just eat it in one sitting. <laughs> One of the most frequently asked questions on our van tour is where do we keep our dry goods or our pantry goods or whatever you want to call them and we keep them up in here. So we have our control panels for like our solar and our batteries but in this space in between we keep anything like rice or canned goods or things like that. As we said we typically eat a lot of refrigerated food so this smaller space works fine for us but if any of you out there are converting a van and you eat a lot of food that might need to be stored up here you might want a slightly bigger space. So as you can see we do not have a built-in stove top on either of our counters we wanted to keep them nice and open so what we went with is the induction stove and we actually used to have two of them but we quickly learned that it takes up way too much power even just using one it takes about 10 percent of our battery to cook just one meal so it's still a power hog so what we do to conserve some of our batteries when we're out boondocking out on the road is we have a camping stove or we'll just make meals that don't require any cooking like salads or something and that's our setup it's super simple it's just pots pans and an induction stove and it does take longer to make things because we only have one burner but we've gotten used to it the only thing we're really missing is some nice, delicious roasted veggies, <laughs> but we appreciate them even more when we do get to have them. <laughs> so if you're new around here, we did want to mention that we do have a van tour where we walk mm -hmm. through the entire van, show you our shower, and you know, how we make our table into our bed and all that fun stuff. And we do have a blog post that links to every product we use in the van. So if you have not seen those, we'll link to them below so you can check them out. But we are hungry, so let's get cooking. <laughs> not only one of our favorite van meals but one of our favorite meals we've ever made up all time <laughs> a red curry dish so disclaimer we have never been to asia so we cannot say how authentic this recipe is but we think it tastes pretty dang yeah. good we want to eat this meal every single day <laughs> of our lives and there have been weeks that we've had it quite a few yeah, days it's in not a row. the healthiest but <laughs> it's not the most it's unhealthy but it's maybe not the most healthiest either yeah. but man we love it <laughs> <laughs> so what makes this dish so awesome is that it's super customizable and easy so what we do we start off with some veggies so we get a couple bell peppers and a zucchini you can do any veggies you want then we move on we have we throw in some ground beef but you can do chicken pork you don't even have to do any meat it's great for vegans vegetarians meat eaters everybody alike the next part this is super easy we just get a parboiled rice you just tear it open dump it in boom and then what makes it extra special so we have coconut cream this gives it that mm, yummy creaminess <laughs> and then the red curry paste and then we just have a couple of spices that we throw in and then top it off with some cilantro we kind of morphed recipes we found online and just made our own version of it. So originally we used to put chicken broth in with the coconut cream, but we just found it was too liquidy. It wasn't creamy enough for us. So we just cut that out. And then some recipes online call for, I believe, fish sauce or sugar to go in with it. But we just put salt in instead of fish sauce fish sauce because we don't have any on hand and then we didn't really feel the need for sugar but that's just something to consider if you do try to make this dish. So your first step you're going to cut up all your beautiful veggies.
So the first thing I like to do is just cook the veggies first just to soften them up a bit. So our next step is we add our meat. If you don't eat meat, you just skip this step. So in it goes. Mm. Yeah, ground beef's not the most attractive thing to show on camera. <laughs> <laughs> So as we mentioned earlier, you can try different kinds of meat in here. We've tried chicken. I think we've tried pork, but for some reason we just love the ground beef the best. I think it's because the, the meat is just so crumbled up that with every single spoonful you get like the perfect, too. oh, it's fatty and good. Mm -hmm. You get like the perfect proportion of meat to like the soupiness when mm -hmm. you do ground beef. So that's why we love it. But the chicken was good too. I mm -hmm. think we did pork and that was good. Yep. And for anyone who likes tofu, I bet you could put that in here. We've never yep. tried it, but it might be good. I don't know. Let us know if it is. <laughs> Adam is our resident chef in the van. He cooks all of the meals. Chop, chop. <laughs> I love cooking, so it's it's just fun for me. And I'm a really good taste tester. <laughs> and now's the time you're going to add your curry powder and your red curry paste. We've seen some recipes where it just calls for half of this bottle, but we like the flavor, so we dump the whole thing in there. I don't measure it or anything. I just do a few mm. bing, bang, booms. We also don't drain the grease as you can see, but that's your preference. You can do it either way, but we like just, it fatty. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're just gonna mix it up, get it all nice and incorporated. So as we were cooking, we kind of realized that we made too many veggies. We usually normally do just one bell pepper and one zucchini. So this is a bit too much and it might throw the ratio off a little bit. So we're not gonna add all this in. We'll save some for later. So this is the time that you throw in your veggies. We like to go with the rice and tasty. <laughs> Sometimes it might be easier if you get the parboiled rice in the bag because as you can see, this is kind of like a brick. And so if you have it in the bag, you can mush it up with your hand and break it up. It just makes it a little easier once you dump it in. But next step, boom. And then you're just gonna- Break her down. Break it up best you can. Try not to let any jump out. The lost soldier there. Now it's time for the magic to happen. And now you can see the creaminess getting in there. Oh my goodness. Put the oil mixing in. Oh baby. It'll look more and more red as it mixes together instead of pink or orange. It also depends on how much curry powder you put in, yeah. how orange it gets. Yeah. But here, now you're just gonna kind of let it all sit together a minute or two. Get this rice broken down. It's kind of easier when there's more liquid for it to kind of break the rice apart. And then you're just kind of want to get it to simmer just for a couple minutes and let the, the coconut cream warm up, all the veggies warm up, the rice, everything. Just all marry together. As you can see, it's not the most liquidy dish yeah. ever so you could put less rice or less meat or less of anything really whatever um, consistency you like yeah. yeah to make it a little bit more soupy if you like adam's over here taste testing the sign of a good chef is chef always tastes the food yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> It kind of looks a little bit like slop, but we promise it's really good. If you want it soupier, like we said, you can definitely put in less rice or less meat to yeah. give it just more of a soupier appearance. Mm -hmm. But mm, let's dig in. Good job. <laughs> so excited about this. We're hungry. We haven't eaten yet. It's like noon. Mm. It's just so creamy and there's different textures like the meat and the crunchy veggies the rice is kind of softer and then just the all oh, the flavor is bomb it just has so much flavor oh my goodness i love this this is definitely my favorite meal we've ever made <laughs> so yeah apologies if it looks a little weird i don't know we didn't realize until we started till we filmed it for you guys we're like oh maybe this doesn't look as appetizing as we we think it is but promise you it's delicious 
All right, it's my turn. So you can season it however you want. I'm gonna throw a little sriracha on there. I don't normally do it, but doing it today sounds good. I like it a little spicy because it's not spicy on its own already. So, oh, I'm so excited. Mmm, so good. We haven't had it in a few weeks. I've missed it so much. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed our little van cooking show. If you guys end up making this recipe, definitely let us know, especially if you loved it. And if you didn't love it... Let us know what you changed about it to make it good for you. We really want to know. Yeah, so if We're you make open. any changes, if you have something you make that's similar, definitely tell us. We're always excited to try new things, yeah. especially while we're here in Austin at my parents' yeah. house. We're trying to cook as much as we can. And if you guys have any recipes that you think would be good to make in a van, comment below and let us know that as well so we can maybe have some more variety in our lives. <laughs> but we're gonna devour this, so we'll see you next time. And there have been weeks that we have eaten it every <laughs> single day. Uh, welcome to our kitchen! Ah! So we're gonna make not not only uh, uh, <laughs> cut up all your beautiful veggies. Veggies? Veggies. <laughs>